Hi, it's a wealthy expat here. Being a US citizen, or soon to be former US citizen, I know the struggles of paying taxes based on your citizenship. And I get a lot of questions from a lot of my clients from other countries that are not the United States on whether their country is headed in the same direction of citizenship-based taxation. Are you going to pay tax no matter where you live in the world? Obviously, there's gonna be ways to minimize that but you're gonna have to file tax returns, you're gonna have to send them documents to the CRA, to the HMRC, to the ATO, to whichever tax department around the world that you belong to or your country belongs to, you will need to report to them. You will need to pay some sort of tax, no matter if you move to Dubai or move to Cayman Islands or any other tax-free country. Do I see this happening? How? when and what my country start doing in order to start taxing citizens without outright calling it citizenship-based taxation. We've seen countries like Canada, for example, propose citizenship-based taxation, but from smaller parties. They say, oh, all Canadians around the world need to pay tax because they travel on their Canada passport, they're proud Canadians, they have benefits from Canada, they visit Canada every year, therefore they need to pay tax even if they only live like one week a year in Canada or they haven't touched Canada in the last 20 years. That is currently a proposal, it isn't a law, it isn't a law that is pending, nothing like that, so I don't see it happening in the next one to two years, definitely not. What is happening, especially in countries like Australia, for example, we made a video with an Australian tax accountant, is that they're gonna make it almost impossible to leave or an extreme hassle to leave. They're gonna make it so that when you leave Australia, when you leave Canada, you still need to pay taxes for years in the future. For example, with the new Australia law that my accountant talked about, you're gonna have to pay taxes for the next three years and leave Australia for those three years and then you can become tax non-resident of Australia. Other countries like Norway also impose multiple years after you leave the country, you still need to pay taxes. It's not citizenship-based taxation, but they are really taxing their citizens because they've already left, they've gotten tax residence somewhere else, yet they still need to pay taxes. That is what I see happening in many countries right now. It's happening right now. There are several countries that are proposing these sort of laws to prevent people from leaving because you're gonna leave, you're gonna pay taxes anyway, might as well not leave. Stay, stay in our country, pay our taxes, don't try to evade taxes, nothing like that. That's where I see countries going, they're gonna make it even harder, they might even say for the next five years, next 10 years, for example, like the United States, when you renounce your citizenship, you still needed to pay taxes for 10 years after renouncing US citizenship. And they took that law out because they realized it was ridiculous and unfair, but other countries might start doing it. You don't need to renounce your citizenship, but you renounce your tax residence, and you still need to pay taxes for the next 10 years. That's what I see the first level happening. Not outright citizenship-based taxation, but that sort of just being slave to your country for the next couple of years after leaving. The second step that I see happening is different countries form different unions or different, let's say, methods of taxing you depending on where do you belong to. So for example, the European Union is the best example for this. So the European Union might have a flat tax of 5%, 10%, 10.5% like the guilty tax in the United States. So for example, if you start a company abroad as a US citizen, you pay 10.5% guilty tax. The European Union might say, okay, any European, any holder of a EU passport that lives in Dubai, Cayman Islands, wherever that you don't pay any taxes, needs to pay minimum 10.5% or 10% or 5% or whatever the percentage is. They might even say 20%. That I definitely see it happening in the next four to five years, where if you're from Spain or Germany or any other country in the EU and you move to Dubai, you might need to pay taxes just for the fact that you are an EU national and you need to pay tax back to your country or to the EU as a whole. That might happen. I'm, I'm seeing it from countries like Germany, from Netherlands, from Spain that are extremely aggressive in their taxation. Obviously, other countries that are not as aggressive like Portugal or countries in Eastern Europe, they're not as aggressive with their taxes. They might not be so comfortable with this idea, but the EU as a whole might implement some sort of program like this. Other countries where I see this happening is no matter where you go around the world, you need to pay taxes and definitely the big ones like Australia, New Zealand, UK, Canada, and all these different countries. They might say, okay, any national from any of these countries that moves to a tax-free place or that moves to a tax haven or puts their business in a tax haven or goes and lives in Mexico or whatever, needs to pay a minimum 10.5%. So all these governments, obviously they're not working in conjunction. Canada's not working with Australia and taxing their citizens together because they don't have a union per se, like the European Union, but they might agree 
on some sort of law like this, where Canada sees what Australia is doing, Australia sort of copies Canada, and then the UK sort of copies Australia. So that might happen, where each copies each other. Canada's copying the US, sort of, because they're proposing citizenship-based taxation. Australia is copying what Norway is doing and also copying what the US is doing, sort of trying to keep people in their borders as much as possible. And obviously with what's happening with the restrictions around the world, they're going full dictatorship. And just like, let's say Australia did, Canada's also doing it and the UK did it for a slight amount of time. So obviously they're modeling what other countries are doing in terms of taxation, in terms of restrictions, and that's definitely something that I see happening in the future. So the first level to all of this is not letting you leave. That's the first one. The second one might be unions like the European Union or different countries start modeling each other, basically taxing citizens straight up. And the next level that I see is FATCA. The next level is basically making other countries that are tax havens, bullying tax havens into reporting everything back. So as a US citizen, even if you don't wanna pay taxes to the US, you wanna do it illegally, you wanna hide from the US forever, you wanna live in an island somewhere, you still, in every bank that you go to, in every crypto exchange that you go to, in every place that you go to that is with finances, they will ask you if you're a US citizen. If you lie, that's a crime, that's perjury. If you say that you're a US citizen, everything is reported back to FinCEN to the United States. So absolutely everything is reported to the IRS, to the US Treasury, it's reported back to the United States. So they know everything that you're doing all over the world, unless you don't do any KYC. And that would be the last level that I see happening with all these countries. Canada might say, okay, all these tax havens, UAE, Cayman Islands, where are people going, like Bermuda, all of you need to report what Canada citizens are doing in your particular jurisdictions, no matter if they live there, no matter if they live in another country, they don't live in Canada, no. You report because they're a citizen of Canada. That would be the next level. I don't see that happening in the next, let's say, decade or two decades, really. I don't see it happening. The FATCA took a long time to implement after US implemented citizenship-based taxation. So this will be the first level, like not letting you leave, which is already happening. It's gonna happen in the next two to three years. Then it's gonna be taxing citizens all over the world at a small percentage. Then those percentages start increasing. At first in the United States, it was like one or 2%. Now it's full boat. You need to pay completely no matter where you live, unless you do offshore strategies and very proper structuring with an accountant, then you can reduce your taxes. But I definitely see it increasing that way and modeling what the US is doing. And then lastly, forcing other countries. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. So if you're a national of a country that has high taxes, that is restricting your movement that wants to change the law in order to punish you for having wealth, then I would definitely look at having a second citizenship, having citizenships all over the world, moving to other countries as fast as you can. If you're in Australia right now and you're waiting for these changes to be implemented, don't wait the day after the changes are implemented because then you're gonna have to wait three years to not pay taxes. Get the hell out as soon as possible and then you won't have to suffer that. If you're a US citizen, for example, you wanna renounce your US citizenship now, do it before it gets even harder. If you're Canadian or UK, Get out of the country before it's even harder. Get a second citizenship just to protect yourself and be free from your government if they implement all of these changes. Obviously, this is a topic that is talked a lot about in this offshore world here on YouTube. I don't see it happening as fast as other people say it's gonna happen. Usually these changes take years to implement and a long bureaucracy process to actually get it to work properly, but I do see it happening in the future and I do want you to be protected. If you wanna get another citizenship, if you want proper tax planning, if you wanna to move to a place that welcomes your wealth like Dubai, UAE, Cayman Islands, Portugal, for example, you wanna to move to any of these places, you wanna do it properly and lower your taxes legally, click that first link in the description, book a call with the Wealthy Expat team. We can obviously help you with all of this. I'm on the news, I'm everywhere, trying to find the best information for you to try to see where these governments are going and we have experience with clients all over the world so that we can help you. Click that first link and check the video that is going to pop up right here, how to pay less taxes in 30 days or less in the next 30 days, how you can lower your taxes dramatically to zero or very close to zero with our strategies and the recommended process that you should follow. Check it out right now. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, that like button down below. I'm the Wealthy Expat. I'll see you on the next video.